What's up guys? My name is uh, Shay Gwynn and I'll be doing a harmonica tutorial for you today or tonight wherever you're at. Um, for beginners, um, I'm going to go over a couple basic things. Um, what style of harmonica do you need to start with? Uh, what are the best brands or what's my favorite? Um, how to hold the harmonica? How to hold, you know, how to do your breathing patterns? Um, I'm going to like to teach you one breathing pattern that you need to practice until you can get it, you know, get it under wraps. And then I would like to teach you a lick that you can bring into just about any jam session you go to and you can be able to play along with them. Um, that's a lot for one video and I might not be able to get it all, but um, we're going to give it a shot. First things first, um, when you're going out to buy a harmonica, you know, what do I need? You know, you don't want to get no cheapo, you know, you can go to Cracker Barrel and they got them harmonicas up there, but I mean, and you can go that route, but you know, you're gonna start learning, you know, it's leaking out too much air um, when I blow or when I draw on it, it's not making the sounds right, you know, and, and you get what you pay for. Um, my favorite one from the very beginning was the Honor. Um, I got the Honor Special 20, and for your money, you get your money's worth for the Special 20. Honor makes great harmonicas all the way around. You can go Golden Melody, you can go River Band. The River Band's got the wood cones and you get a different sound out of it. But in Golden Melodies, they are the prettiest sounding to me. They make the best sound harmonica. But they don't, none of them stand up to a Special 20. You buy this thing and right out the box, it's ready to go. You're gonna be able to blow, you're gonna be able to draw, you're gonna be able to bend, everything else. This thing's ready to go. It don't need no tweaking or nothing like that. Um, and they last. When you go into a jam session with a Special 20, you're pretty sure that you're gonna be able to come out and play this thing the next day. Sometimes other harmonicas, you know, if you start whining and bending on them, they don't make it through, you know, a good chirp service or a good jam session. So I'm sold with these. Now, if you go out and buy something else, that is fine. Lee Oscar makes good harmonicas. Um, they're, they're pretty cool. That, a matter of fact, they'll tell you first and second position on the Lee Oscars. Um, I got a couple of those. Um, Suzuki makes harmonicas, um, and I hear they're good. I've not really ever played with them. Um, basically, what you start with is pretty much where you're going to end back up. Um, it's one of them deals, you know. What you start with is where, you, where you're going to be. Um, I got Golden Melanie's, but my favorite one is Special 20. All right? Really try to go Honer. Go Honer because I think they got it right. I really do. I think that they, they got the... They got the basics down pat. Uh, any style honer, you can't go wrong. They make them in Germany. Okay, now, the question is, all right, I'm going to the music store. There's A's, there's B's, there's C's, there's D's, G's, E's. All right, when I learned how to play harmonica, I got a C harmonica. That's all I got. Um, I might have had some other ones, but I learned how to play with a C harmonica. And the reason being is, that just about everybody that teaches how to play the harmonica or anybody that has one, they got one of these. All right. I was taught how to play with a C. I learned how to play with a C. And the good thing is, once you get it mastered down with a C, you can go grab an A or you can go grab a B. And it's the same thing. You know how to play on this one, you can go play the same thing on that. They're just making different key sounds and everything else. So get you a C harmonica, preferably a honer, preferably a special 20. And... There you go. But, man, there's so much more out there. There's a bunch of them out there. And, you know, I'm just telling you from personal experience. Um, how to hold a harmonica. That's that's one thing that I learned, I did wrong. You know, I didn't really have nobody really show me how to hold one at the very beginning. So I started holding it a different way. And I made a habit to it. Um, I started holding it the, the wrong way. And I do it till this day. Well, I'm going to teach y'all the right way to hold one. I'm going to teach y'all how I hold it. I'm going to teach you the right way, the way that people tried to teach me. Um, you take your left hand, you hold it like that. Now, if you're left-handed, you might do this mirror image different. You know, but um, you take your left hand, hold it like that. You put your harmonica on top of your thumb, just like that. And it's just like it's made for. You collapse your fingers around it, just like that. It's just like you're holding a sandwich. Um, people call this the metal sandwich. I don't call it that, but I've heard people call it a metal sandwich. But it's just like you're about to eat a sandwich. So, so you, And then keep your fingers out like this. You take your right hand. You come in like that where you're covering it. Best way that I can remember 
you know, remember how to hold this. It's like you're about to clap at a baseball game. You hold it on there. The reason you want to keep it tight like that is because when you make a note, let's just say a four. Sounds different when you open and when you close. You can be in a group or you can be playing at church or something like that, and people will be like, what are you doing? You're doing something different? No, I'm just moving my hands a little bit different. Um, the really cool thing is once you start doing that right there, you can get it like this. And you do your hand walls, you know, practicing your hand walls. So that's how you hold it. Collapse it, hand on Practice that a little bit. Practice holding it. Get comfortable with it. You know, make sure that you're doing it right. Your right hand, just cuffing it, just like you're about to clap your hands. All right. Now, how, how do I play a harmonica? So, the the way that I was, I've always learned, and the way I've always been taught was like you're whistling. Um, when I first started playing harmonica, there just ain't anybody plays harmonica. You know, in my community, I didn't have nobody show me. So I had to look at videos like this. And, and from what I've learned, you know, the best way to play harmonica, and I feel like that's the true way, is to act like you're about to whistle. And position your lips, you know, just like you're about to whistle, tighten them up, and get to one note. Go to one hole and draw. Now, when I do this, this means draw, and this means blow. See that? Now, there's some people that they don't try to narrow down in their notes, and they get they get real sloppy. You know what I mean? And that's cool. But when you're trying to play a song, you need to be able to define them notes. You need to be able to get into them notes and capture them notes. So let me show you a breathing pattern. Because the, I think what happens is harmonicas, they put numbers on here, one through 10. I, I don't like it how that is because it gives people an excuse to not learn how to work their way around a harmonica. They, they're always looking at it like this and that's like four on. But I think, you know, with, with breathing patterns, practicing your breathing patterns, you don't even need them numbers. The numbers don't even need either. You know one's at the front. You know, ten's at the back. You know five's in the middle. And then you just need to start working on everything in between. So these breathing patterns really help you out a lot. So remember your lips. Keep them like you're whistling. And hold your hands right. We're going to go to the one blow, one draw. And you kind of understand what the hands are doing. See, they're, they're, they're releasing. All right, now, once you get to one, one draw, or one blow, one draw, Move right on over to the two. Go from one to two. One blow, one draw, two blow, two draw. Simple. I mean, you could take that right there and play with some people, you know, if they're they're playing around, you know, you can. Start moving right on down from the one to the two to the three, doing the same thing and stop at five. Because once you get to five, we're going to do a different breathing pattern because it won't make no sense. You know, if you keep going blow draw, so go all the way to five. So after you get to five, you're going to go to six, but it's going to be draw first, then blow. 
Now you got it? It just makes a whole lot of sense doing it that way. It sounds right. If you kept on blow drawing, it's just not even gonna sound right. It's not gonna sound like a melody at all. It's not gonna sound like you got a pattern. So you go. And this, this, this is just an exercise, a breathing exercise that will help you be able to work your way around the harmonica without looking at it. And you'll be able to get familiar with what does this hole sound like? What does that hole sound like? Listen, the harmonica's got 10 holes. So you're already doing math and you're saying, all right, so I got 20 notes that I really need to learn. Absolutely not. These holes bend as well. So you can go to like, and we'll, we'll go over bending it later. This harmonica has a, a, a lot of things that it can do. It's not just 10 holes. It's not just 20 notes. But um, if you learn your way around a harmonica and what a draw sound, what a draw sounds like and what a blow sounds like, you'll be so much far ahead of the game and ahead of the curve. Um, once you learn how to work your way around a harmonica, you can start doing cool licks like this. You, you won't be able to do that unless you know your way around a harmonica. So we've worked on, you know, what style harmonica to get. Um, we worked on how to hold it, how to play it, I've gave you a breathing pattern. I want you to know once you get a C harmonica, only notes that's going to be in C is blow notes. That's going to be in C. All right. Second position is what we call is draw notes, what harmonica players call draw notes. That's where you get into the meat of the harmonica, by the way, um, is your draw notes. That's where your bluesy notes come into play. That's I really like, I play gospel music, but I like to put a, a, a bluesy spin to it. And that's where your good harmonica playing is coming from is the second position. Um, and then you got third position. We won't be doing a lot on third position. Um, if I hit a third position through these uh, lessons, I'll let you know this is third position. When you get a harmonica, you're playing in first position C. So that was blow one, that's C. When you draw into one, you're in G. Good practice. That's a good practice. Narrow down your notes. Make sure when you get to one hole that you're just playing the one hole. And, you know, later on we're going to go into um, capturing other notes with the one. So you start off at one. And, well, we ain't doing that right now. So we're just trying to narrow down notes. All right. So we got the pattern. I want to teach you the lick before we leave. This is a really cool lick. This is something that you can practice on. And... And it goes like this. All that is, it's, it's really simple. I know it sounds like there's a lot going on back there, but you find a three hole. And, and let's mark our way through the three hole. Let's not even look at the harmonica like I showed you. There's your three. Now all you're gonna do is draw in the three. Draw in the three. Blow on the four. Draw on the four. All right, draw on the three. Blow on the four. Draw on the four. Really simple. Draw on the three. It's so it's so easy and that's a lick that you can learn. And you start off slow, you know? Three draw. Four 
Four blood. Four drum. Very simple. Um, we're gonna put the tablets. I feel like we can, we're gonna put the tablets below. Very simple. Um, once you get good with it, you know you're going slow right now. You're trying to learn your way around harmonica. You want to learn this lick. You want to get creative with it. Wind that four down a little bit. That's where that four needs to be. That four is always there. If you ever get in a bind, you can go to that four, and you can pretty much look like a million bucks. You go from. Sorry. <laughs> but that's a really good one. That's one that um that's one that I first learned and ended up, you know, you can incorporate that with other things like Three draw, four low, four draw. All right, guys. Um, I know there's a lot more to learn, but um, I hope this video can start you off and get you started. And uh, hey, maybe you can pass me, <laughs> and, and and I hope you do. Um, harmonicas take time. Um, and they're a really good instrument to have. I'm going to tell you something that I've learned. Uh, since I started playing harmonica, anywhere I go, if I got a harmonica and I'm at a different church, they're like, if they know I play, they won't, they won't make them on because there ain't a lot of harmonica players around. And once you can get the basics down, people would love to hear what you got to play. Um, jam sessions, they, they love a good harmonica player. And hey guys, that's our first tutorial. Um, you put some comments or stuff that you would have loved to see different or, you know, things that I might have left out. If I make another video, um, maybe I can help you with it. Breathing patterns. And then work your way down. And then you got your three hole. Got your hand walls and everything. Thank you. It's been good, and I'll see you on the next video.